What's up, Hexo Jane? Um, I'm back to tell you what I've been wearing on my face this month. Please hold your applause. So the reason I'm starting off wearing a bold green lip uh, is not only because it's a great lip color, which I know that a lot of you disagree with me on, uh, but because I want to talk about um, the new e.l.f. Um, Studio Kiss It Goodbye Lip Color Remover. Uh, by the way, fuck. Uh, the color I'm wearing is Dr. M from ColourPop. It was featured in my last lip color article. But what this is, is just um, an oil-based lip color remover to help get off um, you know, really dark lip colors, really uh, matte lip colors that lock in and stay all day, but then give you some trouble when it was when it's time to remove them. Um, I think this is a really great addition to anyone's you know beauty cabinet if they really like um, dark lips or stay all day lips or just lip colors in general. It's three bucks and it's easy to use. You just put it on and yank all the lip color off. Um, and it's kind of a savior if you need to go from, from one event to another, but like take off the bold lip color you are wearing if it's going to be inappropriate for the next, or if you're on a shoot, um, like I was, and running through a lot of lip colors, a lot of times when you take off a bold lip, it's, it'll stain the rest of your face or um, the area around your mouth, and the last thing you want is like a purple grill or whatever. So I just apply this directly to the lip. Um, Oh, that was too much. Fuck. Press it around like you would a lip color. And then I use um, a makeup remover to just yank it all off. I'm using the Neutrogena makeup removing wipes just because those are what Kim Kardashian uses. And uh, this comes almost directly off with a couple swipes. And it helps your lips not get as stained and certainly helps the area surrounding your mouth. Sorry, I'm talking in such choppy sentences. Um, and so, yeah, it's super easy. They sent me this right before I shot my lip color um, roundup, and it really, really helped. It really helped just move the process along and kept my friends and models cleaner. Could you do this with just makeup removing wipes? Yeah, but. Um, I also I haven't had the green on for that long. If I was wearing it all night, then it would be more of an ordeal. Um, so yeah, look, I look normal again. As normal as I can look, I guess. Speaking of wipes, um, everyone is doing um, sheet masks right now for your face, and everyone is doing um, makeup removing wipes, facial cleansing wipes, moisturizing wipes, wipes of all sorts. And I want to tell you about two of them that I kind of like. Um, the first one is actually for men, quote-unquote, um, and you know how I feel about gendering things like face wipes. Um, but I'm including it because it's good. I'm sorry if you think I'm a douchebag because of it. Um, it is the Anthony um, Exfoliating and Resurfacing Wipes. Um, what I like about them is that one side is smooth um, and one side is pretty stiffly beaded. Um, to exfoliate and get like dead skin and dirt and grime off of your face. Um, these wipes are made with glycolic acid to give you a pretty serious exfoli exfoliating experience um, without burning your whole face off. It's also made with aloe, chamomile, uh, cucumber, um, I think a witch hazel um, to moisturize and replenish your face um, while you're cleaning. So I just do the exfoliating side, turn it over to the cleansing side. A pack of 30 Anthony wipes is um, $18. Um, and the next is the Pacifica Super Detox Purification Wipes. These are um, a little bit gentler. These are formulated with what? Um, kale, cucumber, um, mangosteen, I believe. Um, they're very lightly fragranced, if for fragrance at all, but they don't smell like chemicals, which is great. What I like about the wipes even though they seem like a pretty basic product, is that, um, say, you're traveling, you're getting on a plane, you're staying at someone else's house for, for the evening, um, and, you know, you can't take your entire uh, beauty cabinet with you, not that mine's that big, um, you can throw these in your bag and um, cleanse before you hop in bed or whatever. Um, and still feel like you're not neglecting your face. Um, I know that sometimes when I travel or I crash other places, I don't, you know, take everything I would use when I'm at my own sink, and it kind of drives me crazy. Um, so these are a nice little 
peace of mind. Um, pair that with a moisturizer or a night cream. A night cream and boom, you're ready for bed. Um, speaking of a moisturizer, I wanted to talk about um, the new Evlam Brightening Radiance Cream. Ah, it's right here. Um, my uh, Evlam is the maker of one of my very, very favorite brightening creams. This is also amazing. Um, it's very, it's creamy, it's very, very moisturizing. Um, it includes oat kernel to um, make skin more elastic throughout wear. Um, I also think oat oh, just makes it thicker and creamier and nicer. Um, what else does it have? Uh, amino acids and fatty acids to make skin appear um, plumper. I fucking hate that word. And vitamin C to increase brightness and um, increase cell turnover as well, which is going to give you a brighter skin, uh, brighter skin in the long run, which I was like. Um, vitamin C is a really kick-ass skincare product, and I don't feel like we talk about that enough. Um, this is uh, ballpark sixty-seven dollars. It's called the Radiance Lift Cream. Did I call it that in the first place? I don't think I did. Um, last but not least, we have um, Max Studio. Um, water weight foundation. It's super lightweight, super hydrating, it's really flexible, so it wears nicely throughout the day. Um, I would say it's light to medium coverage. Um, I always do two light coats of foundation, so you can get medium coverage without too much of a battle. Um, the applicator is this like weird dotter dropper sort of situation. Um, they say to apply it right on your skin, but I usually put it on my hand and then dot it around my face. Um, so yeah, give me one second. I don't know. I'm using my uh, favorite It Cosmetics number, what is it, 302 um, Velvet Luxe foundation brush. Um, it's a tapered dome shape um, and it's really nice. Um, I also would like supplement this little fast forward foundation situation with music but like I don't really know how YouTube works and I really don't want to get sued. I have like way better things to do. Um, so. You guys, I'm seeing JoJo on Wednesday. Can you believe that? Oh, does this camera angle look better to you than it did last time? The camera's literally in my shower right now. There's like only so much I can do with this face, clearly. Um, so yeah. I mean, it doesn't really look like I'm wearing foundation right now, which is, I guess, the point. Um, but my skin is definitely more even. Redness is covered up. Um, you can still see my natural coloring. Um, I mean, my dark circles aren't like vanished because they're sort of a part of me and I sort of have to embrace them. When I do cover them up, it looks like I'm like in full face, which I guess I would be. Um, but, you know, my blemishes are concealed. Redness is gone. Skin looks brighter, even, but it doesn't look like I'm kicked in makeup. You know what I mean? Fuck. So yeah, um, that's what I'm wearing on my face uh, this fall, this November. Um, sorry, I didn't load this at the beginning of the month. Um, I actually broke my tripod last week, so I needed to wait. Tell me what you're wearing this month. What are you wearing on your face? Foundation, moisturizer, anything. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me if this is a really shitty video segment. Uh, and I'll see you guys next month.